Hi, Bruno Jr. here. Our podcast, Busting Addiction and Smiths, is sponsored by SafeHouseRehab.com. SafeHouse believes that traditional treatments fall short of the needs of clients who face the modern problems of addiction. Modern problems need modern solutions. Multiple addictions, multiple relapses, multiple triggers, and cheaper and more powerful street drugs set up unprecedented challenges facing treatment centers. What is needed is a more sophisticated approach, a better way forward. There are three reasons to choose our progressive modern treatment program. One, a more sophisticated intake process. Two, technology proven to enhance recovery. And three, the most robust aftercare program in our sector. To learn more, visit us at safehouserehab.com. Episode 10, Season 8. Science Busts Myths About AA. As I've mentioned before, my podcast is as much about the myths that surround addiction as it is about addiction and alcoholism per se. One of those myths is that AA is just a secretive cult whose members have been brainwashed into believing a bunch of religious or voodoo nonsense. Science thoroughly debunks this myth, just as science has debunked the idea that vaccinating your children will give them autism or that the earth is flat. You get the idea. There will always be laggards, and we are lucky that very few of them are in charge of policy, with the exception of some states in the south of the U.S. What's the matter with my country? Science rejected, I'll tell you what. What has gone wrong is that a sizable slice of our population openly rejects science by way of signaling that they belong to a group whose absurd values they share. The ideas that they and their cohorts stand for are grounded in prejudice, alienation, and exclusion. These are exactly the same people who believe that addiction and alcoholism are moral failings. And this is what they say. These people just need to straighten up and fly right. We shouldn't be spending tax dollars and social programs that just coddle addicts and excuse their unconscionable behavior. They believe that Alcoholics Anonymous and related 12-step programs are not scientifically valid. But the crazy thing is that even when these skeptics are shown irrefutable scientific proof, they tend to dig in their heels and demonstrate that they are addicted not to a substance but their own opinions. I will paraphrase the findings of research on the effectiveness of AA versus other types of therapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT. Okay, so first let's talk about what AA says about itself. In quotes, by design, AA is a loosely con knit community of people who share their experience, strength, and hope with each other, embracing its non-professional status and dedication to the least amount of organization as possible, the AA Fellowship hews to one purpose only, that of carrying the message of hope and recovery to the alcoholic who still suffers. In its latest newsletter called Box 459, it states as follows, Nevertheless, scientific researchers and non-alcoholic professionals interested in the efficacy of AA's approach to recovery have long sought to discover just how and why AA seems to have such success with alcoholics. Conclusive scientific evidence. My essay today will skip over the long history of people trying to prove or disprove the effectiveness of AA. Instead, I will focus on a groundbreaking meta-study conducted in the year 2020 by Dr. Keith Humphreys of Stanford University and Dr. John Kelly of Harvard University, I'm sure you've heard of them, under the auspices of the Cochrane Library Systematic Reviews, which is the recognized gold standard in scientific research and reporting. These two experts reviewed 27 clinical studies comprising 150 scientists, 67 institutions, and involved almost 11,000 people. The result of the most comprehensive review of its kind to date is this. The evidence clearly shows that AA works as well as or better than other scientific treatments for alcoholism. They go on to say this. The bottom line is that people who experience TSF, which is 12-step facilitation in AA, are 20 to 60% more likely to end up abstinent than they are with other treatments like cognitive behavioral treatment, outpatient treatment delivered by mental health professionals, meditation, or certain educational programs. There's more. AA has proven to keep people sober for longer. It gives people a chance to share and see success, helps them develop relationships with other sober people, and awakens their sense of altruism. 
Perhaps the most important part of the AA process is that it opens the doorway through which people can walk and discover their own spiritual lives. Here's some vindication. Dr. Kelly adds this. For so many people who have been in AA and have heard it denigrated and put down, there's vindication in this. The study is public access, free to anyone. If someone says AA is a bunch of crap, hand it to them. What our research shows is that when you subject AA to the same scientific standards as any other type of intervention, it is at least as good as, and often better, and certainly cheaper than anything else. I shall interject here that private residential treatment in the U.S. costs anywhere from $25,000 to $50,000 a month, while counseling sessions are likely to cost $250 an hour or more. Other costs vary up and down the ladder depending on factors such as subsidies, insurance coverages, inpatient versus outpatient treatment, and so on. When you consider that there are quite literally no dues or fees for AA membership, declining outside contributions, you get the sense that cheaper is a misnomer. Belonging to a 12-step fellowship is by far the best return on investment one could possibly imagine. A personal example, I, having been sober for the last 28 years, have attended at least 5,000 12-step meetings, AA and Al-Anon, and I typically throw in $2 per meeting to cover rent and literature. We get something priceless. So for a mere $10,000, or less than $357 a year over, <laughs> over 20 years, I got something back that is, in the words of a great MasterCard campaign, simply priceless. Unheard of benefits for almost no money and just a little effort in a few hours a week. If you could arrest cancer for that price, wouldn't millions flock to that kind of program? What price would you put on sobriety after all? What price would you assign to human life and family? That said, what price do we pay to keep on drinking and using? AA's co-founder Bill Wilson showed that he was years ahead of his time when he asserted back in 1958. We are glad of any kind of education that accurately informs the public and changes its age-old attitude toward the drunk. More and more, we regard all who labor in the total field of alcoholism as our companions as we march from darkness into light. We see that we can accomplish together what we could never accomplish in separation and in rivalry. Let's banish ignorance about Alcoholics Anonymous and other 12-step programs. Let's bring our people out of darkness into the light. Let's talk evidence and not rumor. Let's eliminate needless suffering. You too can be part of the solution. Carry the message to the alcoholic or addict or a family who still suffers. The facts can heal. The truth will heal. So what have we learned about research into the effectiveness of Alcoholics Anonymous and similar 12-step programs? 1. To begin with, there are many myths that surround AA and other 12-step programs, and these myths are both archaic and dangerous. They can keep people from getting the help they so desperately need. Two, some in our society reject science out of hand, and it is likely that these unbelievers would also reject any scientific proof showing that AA works. We are optimists, yet realists too. We will not yield to the cynical view that there is no hope of recovery. 3. The evidence from a meta-study of over 11,000 data points yielded conclusive evidence that AA is as or more effective than our variety of approaches designed to treat alcoholism. For the bonus here is that AA has the potential not only to get and keep alcoholics sober, but to lay the groundwork for a spiritual way of life. And 5. The cost-benefit equation is almost impossible to express as the ridiculously low price paid is dwarfed by the benefit of a life lived in peace and sobriety. Our podcast is sponsored by SafeHouseRehab.com, a modern approach to recovery. To learn more, visit us at SafeHouseRehab.com.